through something. Come on, if you've been through something, you ought to know how to open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. God, I give you the glory. God, I honor you. I wouldn't have made it without you, God. Like the song says, never would have made it. I'm stronger. Where it says, yeah. I can do, I can do, do also 
means I can overcome all things. Yes. 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 I may be down right now, but I can get up. Yes. I may be broke right now, but my, my payday is coming soon. Yes. I can make it through Christ. Yes. I can make it with Christ. Yes. There's no challenge that's bigger than my God. I had to encourage myself this morning and I said, Martin, don't let what's going on around you, in other words, don't let the devil that's around you be bigger than the God that's in you. Don't let the devil that's around you be bigger than the God that's in you. Because the Bible tells me that greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. So in the world that we have trouble, trials, and tribulations, Shout out. 
at verse 9, I am persecuted, but not forsaken. May have to go through a violence, but that don't mean that God has forsaken us. I'm going to say it again. You may have to go through an, a pandemic. may have to go through an outbreak. But that don't mean that God has forsaken you. Cast down but not destroyed. I, I may have been cast down but I'm not destroyed. I, 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 when, when, when the devil knocked me down, all he did was knock me down to the right position. Which is when I'm standing up, sometimes I get a little too high and too mighty. Amen? So sometimes I have to be knocked down. Just for 
a moment. Somebody shout, it's just a moment. Yes, yes. Come on, y'all know the song that says, I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. I had to put it deep down on the inside. I'm so glad that COVID-19 won't last always. I'm so glad that unemployment won't last always. I'm so glad that the bills won't last always. Come on, somebody. Is there anybody that can shout at me and say, I'm so glad that trouble seen everything that's going on. God said, get your eyes off of what's going on and put your eyes on me. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Got to learn how to put our eyes back where they need to be. Got to encourage yourself. But the truth be told, when, when stuff come your way for a minute, it does knock your focus off. Like when, when, when you, if you have this network or direct TV or whatever, when a little rain come, every now and then we lose signal. But if you notice something, the signal always come back. I don't know who you are, but God said just because you had a little cloud, a little rain come rolling in, and you might have lost a little bit of your signal. God said, hold on, don't change the channel. Somebody said, don't change the channel. So I can do all things. All Christ who strengthens me. Be encouraged. No matter what's going on. I was looking down on this resurrection day. I said, why did Jesus come into this whole world of ours? Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. Watch this. Due to the pandemic that spread across the entire world. Called sin. Sin is better than any COVID-19. This pandemic called sin had no worldly cure. Just like COVID right now don't have no worldly cure. But I'm so glad that according to John 3.16. That God prescribed a, 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 a prescription that was the cure. To all the ailment in the world. Yes, and he gave his only begotten son as the cure yes, for a sick yes. and a dying world. Yes, oh, somebody. Yes, yes. I'm so glad he gave his only begotten yes, son. Yes. Yes. Why everybody in the science lab and doing chemistry and this, that, and the other, they're trying to figure out uh -huh. how to cure something. God said, I've already given you Jesus. the cure. Jesus. The cure can be found in Jesus. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yes, yes. He's the cure for every ailment. Yes. Every down day, he's your up day. Yes. Every trial, he's your victory. Yes, yes. Every conquest, he's your victory. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Whatever you face, God is your everything. Yes. Come on, somebody shout, God is my everything. Yes. Come on. Yes. I can do all things oh, yeah. through Christ. You got to learn how to encourage yourself. Yeah. 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 Let's look at it. Since Jesus was given to us on this day, uh -huh. what he did, his, his selfless act. Yeah. We remember what he did and we remember that he got up. Somebody yeah. shout yeah. out. Yeah. But before he got there, let's go back and, and look at yeah. what's going on. You got to learn to encourage yourself. Yeah. 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 No matter what's going on. Whoa. Just seven days ago, on Palm Sunday, as yeah. we call it, yeah. Jesus made his triumphant entry into a town called Bethany, yes. which is about two miles east of Jerusalem. Yes. He didn't come riding in on the back of a Cadillac. No. He didn't come riding in the back of a horse-drawn oh, yeah. carriage. No. He didn't come riding in the back of a, 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 a LTD, a, 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 a deuce and a quarter. Amen. He didn't come riding in of all these fancy things that y'all got nowadays. Amen. Yes. But it says that he came riding in on the back of a young donkey that had never been yes. trained. Amen, somebody. He came in the king of kings and the lord of lords. He could have had people carrying him on his shoulders. God said, I came in the form of lowliness so that there is no situation that you will ever face that you can't say, I don't understand. I'm not so high that I can't get low. 
love. Help us somebody. Encourage yourself. God is not so high that he can't come down to my situation. God is not so high that he don't see me. Anybody know that name, Lazarus? Yeah. That Lazarus, the one that Jesus called from the dead. The yeah. one that Jesus said, roll the stone away. Yeah. Father, I know that you hear me always, but for the sake of Bill, I need you to make some witnesses yeah. right now. He said, give me the power to call him out. And he said, Lazarus, come yeah. forward. Lazarus came out with his brain clothes on. Still tired of what he said. He said, loose him yeah. and let him go. That same Lazarus in bed. I don't know who you are besides me, but God said there's some dead things right now that are going on, but there shall be life after this. Some things in your life may be dying right now, but God said it's only dead for a few days. And I'm getting ready to roll the stone away. And I'm getting ready to call you into a newness. And maybe I needed to move you from an old job. That's why the, the last job, amen, it went away because I had a new Maybe I, I, I'm taking you through a period of, of being bankrupt in order for your bank account to be established with an abundance in it. Exactly. Somebody ought to shout, God, I'm getting ready. For, you, for I know in this season, in a season where we see death is on the rise, God said death is for the glory. Because there shall be light after this. A seed, everybody know a seed, a seed has to be buried in the dirt. Oh, yeah. It has to die in the ground yes. in order to give life to a plant. Hello, somebody. God says some stuff has been buried, but it's getting ready to give life to some things. Oh, yeah. He said to uh, uh, Owen Bethany, when Jesus came riding in on the back of the door, uh -huh. yeah. we know that the crowd of people welcomed him and they took the palm branches oh, and they yeah. waved them and threw them at his feet and they cried out, Sunday night in Bethany until the following morning. Oh, Early Monday morning. Hey. Oh, we'll walk you through this. That's all right. Uh -huh. Early Monday morning, Jesus and the disciples made the two-mile journey west to Jerusalem. Uh -huh. When he arrived at the temple, when he arrived at the church, he found the courts of the church were full of corrupt people, and it was full of corrupt money changers. Hello, somebody. It, it, it got up under his skin so bad to where our Lord and our Savior began overturning their tables, and he began clearing the temple out, and he said, my temple will be a house of prayer. Hello, somebody. But you have turned it into a den of thieves. Jesus left the temple, and he and his disciples spent Monday night back in Bethany. Oh, yeah. Remember Monday night, they, they worshiped him. Tuesday, he cleaning house. Now he get his house back in order. He, he taking the ones that are misusing his house and he's saying, get out. Somebody shout, get out. If you don't want to be on the Lord's side, get out. If, if, if being with God is too hard for you, get out. Somebody shout, get out. He told him, get out. If you don't get out, I'll put you out. Monday night, he, him and his disciples went back to Bethany and they they, they spent the night back in Bethany. Uh -huh. Tuesday, early Tuesday morning. Yes. Yeah. Jesus and his disciples returned back to Jerusalem. Oh, glory. They went uh, back to Jerusalem, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Now watch this. Back at the temple in Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah. The same yeah. temple the day before Jesus yeah. turned upside yeah. down. Oh, yeah. The religious leaders were upset at Jesus. And they were having a little powwow at the temple. Yes, yes. And they, they, they were upset because Jesus was establishing himself yes. as a spiritual authority. Yes. 
In other words, they were in there saying, who does this boy think he is? Uh, for coming in here, talking about like he's straightening up. Uh, our church, some of our church is our home. Uh -huh. uh -huh. some of us now. Yes. Uh, when God begins to come in and straighten some stuff up, we, we begin to look at it and say, who Jesus think he is? Yes. Uh, I, I don't need your help, Jesus. I got this. Amen. Yeah. But I'm so glad that his way is better than our way. Yeah. The, the religious leaders organized an ambush. They, oh, yeah. they, they plotted to go get him. They were so upset. I, I need to put hands on him. Yeah. They had intent to place Jesus under arrest, but Jesus felt what was going on. Yeah. And he invaded the traps. Amen. You can't trap God. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. He always has a way of escape. Later that Tuesday afternoon, Jesus and his disciples head to the Mount of Olives where he further explained to them about the destruction of Jerusalem. The end times. He told them about his second coming and he told them about the final judgment. I looked at it and said, why did he go to the Mount of Olives? What's so special about the Mount of Olives? God began to show me. He said, think of an olive. In order to get olive oil, an olive has to go through a press. And olive has to be crushed. So the Mount of Olives was a place where pressing and crushing took place. Y'all know somebody? Maybe some of us right now find ourselves on the Mount of Olives. We're perplexed on every side. Amen. Cast down. We're persecuted. But God said, all it's doing is, is producing what's inside of you to come out of you. Hello, somebody. So while he's there, at the Mount of Olives Tuesday evening. Uh -huh. At the same time, yeah. back over with the Sanhedrin Council, we find one of his disciples by the name of Judas Iscariot. Yes. Yeah. He's standing before the council and he's negotiating his pay uh -huh. on what he's going to get for turning in Jesus. Uh -huh. There was a reward for, for, for the capture and, 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 and for, for leading people to Jesus, amen, so that they could capture him. And, 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 and here we are, Judas is over there negotiating. How much is it? Our God, our Lord, our Savior, up on my arms, getting ready for the week to come, getting ready for the, the final days. One of his own, somebody that was close to him, is betraying him. Anybody ever been to the point where you had somebody so close to you? You, you would do anything for them. You fed them, you clothed them, you loved them, but at the same time, they were over with somebody else turning their back on you. Instead of P-R-A-Y praying for you, they were P-R-E-Y praying against you. They were praying against what you were for. They were praying so that they could have what you have. Come on, somebody. Jesus is up on the mountain and one of his own is over there negotiating how to betray him. I, I just need to encourage myself. I, 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 Sunday they praised me. Tuesday, yeah. I had to get some straightening. Yeah. Uh, 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 Tuesday morning, I had to get well, Monday, I had to get some straightening. Tuesday, I, I, I felt that they wanted to do something to me, so I dealt. And now here I am, like somebody that's turning against me. It's a lot, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. All I need to do is get to a place where I can encourage. On Wednesday, not too much is recorded. I take it as Jesus and his disciples, they rested because of what's taken place Sunday morning, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, we need a day to recuperate it and so that we can strategize how we're going to move forward. Yeah, yeah. But something happened on that Thursday. Jesus and his disciples, they, they, they found themselves in the Lord's Supper. Yes. In the upper chamber. Yes. And there, and then not only did Jesus give his disciples the last supper, the Lord's yes. Supper of communion, yes. but he also washed their feet. Yes. Yes. He had the first recorded foot washing ceremony. Yes. He told them, he said, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but you will later. This is, uh, and then the, the significance of the foot washing was that this is how believers ought to have respect for one another. Yes. I respect you enough, I love you enough to put my clean hands on your dirty feet. Yes. You done been in some stuff. Uh -huh. But I love you anyhow. Amen. Yeah. Somebody. You've been yeah. some place. Your feet have taken you some places. But I still got my hand on you. Yes. Some of us got some folks in our family right now who've been in some stuff, been through some stuff. Let's step in some hall maneuver. Hello, somebody. Let's step in some dog movement, but we still hold on to it. Somebody shout, hold on. Oh, wow. So oh, wow. here he is. Oh, wow. 
Jesus is there. Yes, Lord. Tell him, this is my body, which will be broken for you. Yes, this is my blood, which shall be shed for you. He's giving an example. This is how it's going to be. He broke the bread. This is what's going to happen. They're going to break me. Got the wine and pour the wine. He said, this is what's going to happen. The, the blood is going to come streaming down. Yeah. So this is what it's going to look like. Before I have to give you a preview before we get to the main event. Hello, somebody. Before we get to the game, we got to practice. He's encouraging himself and he's encouraging them. After they, they, they perform, amen, the, the foot washing and they uh, established the Lord's Supper, they went to the Garden of Gethsemane. Yes, they did. At the Garden of Gethsemane, which is at the foothills. And you got to come down the Mount of Olives to go down into the garden. You got to come down from being pressed and, and crushed to go down into the garden. Y'all see this? I got to go through pressing to get to the garden. I got to go through crushing, go down to the garden. Here they are in the Garden of Gethsemane. And we know that Jesus told his disciples... He took them so far and told them, wait here. He said, be vigilant and pray. pray. And he went a little further ahead of them. And the Bible says he fell on his face and he said, Lord, let this cup pass me by. Went back down and saw his disciples and his disciples say, listen, I need you to stay awake. I need you to pray. Went back up again and he said, Lord, let this cup Pass me by. Yes. Our Lord and our Savior, who was sent here to be uh, uh, the appropriation for our sins. He is at a point where he needs encouraging. Monday they praise him. But here he is Thursday with his face down saying, God, Father, take this cup away. But he had encouraged himself. He said, But nevertheless, God, not my will, but your will be done. If it was up to me, I tell you, there got to be another way. Amen. There, there got to be another way, but if I got to die, yeah. if I got to go to the cross, yeah. if I got to bleed out, yeah. if I got to go to the ball too, yeah. if I got to stay here Friday and Saturday and be praised again on Sunday, not my will, God, but your will yeah. be done. Yeah. While he's up there, out there in the garden, our Lord and Savior is in agony as he's praying yes, to the Father. Yes, the Bible records that just like me, but just a, 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 a fuller extension of it, Jesus had sweat that was falling off of him. Yes, you were. It said the Bible records that it's great drops of sweat. And inside of the sweat was blood. He hadn't even made it to the cross yet. But because of the agony, he was already sweating blood. Can you see our Savior out there sweating, praying to God, Father, let this cup pass me. And blood, drops of blood falling off of Ain't nobody touched him yet. And blood is falling off of him. Yes, yes, yes. Nevertheless, God. Thank you, Lord. Yo. Not my will, but your will. Your will. Yeah. He went back to find his disciples, and what, what were they doing? Sleep. 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 I needed you to stay awake and pray. Yeah. While I go and pray, I need you to pray. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't even depend on your prayer partner. <laughs> your prayer partner ain't been to be MIA. In the time when we need to be praying, they sleep. In the time we need to be seeking God, in the time we need to be fasting for God, in the time we need to be seeking everything in God. Your prayer part is sleep. I'm out here by myself. Anybody been to that place? I just needed somebody to pray with me. I just needed somebody to pray for me. I just needed somebody to tell me I can make it. I just need somebody to say, oh, Right now, we're in a crisis, and God is saying, Where are the 
the praises? Now you're going to show up. 
So we know that Thursday, our Lord and our Savior, they, they arrested him and took him before uh, uh, before the Sanhedrin Council, before uh, uh, this person and that person. And we know early Friday in the early morning hours. As Jesus was, was his trial was getting underway. We know somebody spotted Peter and said he was with him. Peter said, no, what? <laughs> Came back again and said, yeah, yeah, I think he was with him. No, I wasn't. Somebody else spotted him and said, yeah, he was with him. Peter said, no, I wasn't you. And began to cuss. I don't know the man. And as soon as he, he said it, he looked over and the rooster crowed and he looked at Jesus. And Where were you when I needed you? Now you deny me. Sunday, y'all worship me. Hosanna. Friday, here I am on trial. They asking a question, who should we let go? Y'all want Barabbas or y'all want Jesus? The crowd, the ones, Hosanna on Sunday. Friday said, give us the murder. Give us Barabbas. You can, my God, you can have Jesus. And that's sort of like what we got now. People giving him back. Say, we don't want him. Give us the problem. We'd rather have the problem than the, the prescription. We'd rather have the virus than the future. Jesus went on trial and we know how it all played out. He was found guilty. Went up on an old rugged cross. Nailed our Savior to an old rugged cross. He hung his head while he was on the cross. Promise you we'll get out of here in a minute. While he was on the cross, his mother Mary was right down. Right there. Yes, she was. Mary looked up. Mary said, I don't care about none of them. Right. I don't care about nobody. Yeah. That's my son. Yeah. Yeah. He had one ride to die. Yes, he had a disciple that he loved named James that was there. Yes, he told James, he said, James, take care of my mother. Uh -huh. Mother, take care of him. Yes, he had one while he was on the cross. He had a thief on his right and a thief on his left. Yes, one of them said, uh, was mocking him and say, why don't you get yourself down? Uh -huh. yes, the other one on yes, the other yes. side said, don't you know who this is? Mm. We deserve what we're getting, but he had done no wrong. He said, Lord, when you're coming to your kingdom, remember me. On the cross, he had one person that was encouraging him. And he said, uh, you'll be with me in paradise. He had one when he was about to die. One that stood up and said, remember me. I knew mean, so. He was a sinner man that, that said, Lord, remember me. But what are the people that said they worship me? Uh, yes. Where the ones that I fed? Mm. Where the ones that I clothed? Right. Where, where, watch this. Where's Lazarus? Uh. Where, where, where's where, where's Barnabas? He was blind. Ain't, ain't no excuse now. You, you, you got sight now. You, you know where I am now. I gave you sight. You went leaping in this, that, and the other. Where was the man that was handicapped and I told you, take up your bed and walk? You, you can walk now. Where are you at? y'all to help me. Uh -huh. Encourage me. Right. You can't take my place on the cross. I took your place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing this because of you. Yeah. I don't need you to get on the cross. Yeah. I just need you to worship me. Right. What if they would just bust out right there and say Hosanna. Yeah. Right there while he's on the cross. What if they would just begin to shout. You are our king. Yeah. You are our lord. Yeah. There's no one higher than you. There's no one greater than you. Yeah. Shout it out. Lord, I thank you for what you did. God, I thank you for the sight that you gave me. God, I thank you for the food that you blessed me with. God, I thank you for how you raised my daughter. God, I thank you for how you healed my mother. God, I thank you for how you. What if they would have been right there at the cross and, and, and gave him glory while he was on the cross? But he was on the cross and he had to encourage himself. We know the Bible says he got rough because he said, uh, he, he, he looked up and he said, Father, he not, he not about to do. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He, he, he only needed was some encouragement. He's at the point on the cross. He said, you know, I'm walking by myself. I had the whole world. You sent me to save the whole world. Where's the world at now? God, you forsake me. 
But nevertheless, uh, I'm going to die. We know he hung his head in the hollow of his chest, and we know that he died. We know he, he, he was taken down, he was buried in a bar or two. He stayed there all night, Friday. We know he was in the bar or two all day, sad. All day, sad and night. But I know somebody said it. I know somebody weeping and howling right about now. And if something happened early that Sunday morning. Early that Sunday morning. Somebody said early. Early that Sunday morning. A little bit before the sun rises. Before the rooster could grow. Before the breakfast got on the table. Early. Somebody said early.
you said that you had Sunday. Sunday to Friday, you gave up on it. But oh, early Sunday morning. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Same one that you gave up on. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Come on. Come on, I just need somebody just to, just to raise your hand right there and say, Lord, Lord, thank you for all that you did. God, thank you for encouraging me. God, thank you for coming into this world. God, thank you for taking my place on that rugged cross. God, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for being buried in a bottle of tomb. You got up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And since you got up, the same God that raised you up is raising me up right now. God, I thank you. Thank you. The world looks at Resurrection Sunday as being one day. But you can see it's every day. Every day. Right. Father God, we come to you now, God, as humble as we know how, God. God, first and foremost, like always, we come telling you thank you. God, we thank you for everything that has taken place. God, we thank you for everyone that is present. God, we thank you for everyone that is watching. God, we thank you for the sick and the shut in. God, we thank you for the ones that are in the nursing home. God, we pray for the ones that are uh, grieving right now. God, we thank you for the ones that have the desire, amen, to even worship you on today, God. God, they'd rather get ready to go out and party, but God, I thank you for, for, for changing our tune and real, making us realize that there's no party like a Holy Ghost party, God. So God, we give your name praise, honor, and glory. We glorify you, God. We thank you, God. And we won't forget. We take you everywhere that we go. We say it everywhere that we go. My God's not dead. He's yet alive. I know he's alive because every day, God, that I look in the mirror, I look at the eyes first, God. And when I look at the eyes, I see you looking back at me. You said I was created in your image, God. And in your likeness. So everything that you said is true. And since I'm able to get up, I'm only able to get up because you got up. So I thank you, God. Thank you for all.